Um, I will read some uh, things, uh, poems that I wrote uh, coming here to London. So I wrote it on a registration, <laughs> registration card and this uh, garbage uh, bag uh, in the airplane and also from the sandwich. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so which one was first? Okay, this one. The garbage bag. Journey. I should have walked up to here. The journey is much lonelier if traveling alone by train or a bus. I sit by the airplane window and watch the clouds, dense and possessive of what's below. If I had walked or cycled all this way, I wouldn't have thought so much of how it was when I was here with you. I would have counted the kilometers or searched for a place to sleep before sundown, or cursed the minute I decided to take this strenuous journey. I would have thought of the steps, of hills and lows, of complicated crossroads, of the present moment, not the past. I would have been in the present. It would have been a journey, not just changing places. Okay, I will also read a few sketches uh, um, for this event, especially for this event that was made uh, for, for our Croatia-London uh, uh, collaboration. I wrote it uh, today after an exposition that I saw in, in London. Modern life. Watching the Barbourier painting by Sonia Delaunay today in Tate, I lose myself in colors brought to life, a multitude of faces, unknown faces, harmony of tango dancers from 100 years ago. A dissonance of Transiberian wheels painted by young Sonia, herself an artist refugee from Odessa, Ukraine, bring to me yesterday news of Calais refugees. Desperados of the Le Manche Tunnel. The debate between geometric and lyric abstraction still lingers on as I watch uh, the paintings, art de aujourd'hui, simultaneous composition, a composition for jazz, colored rhythms, my friend, composition number 127A. Rhythm number five, an aeroplane engine, the propeller, an instrument panel. There were flamenco singers, of course, not one by the name. Costumes for slaves in a ballet by Jagilov. Dancers on the rope of life in La Manche Tunnel a composition number 1,200 souls. Modern life, on the wind, on the earth, remember the red and green silences. Remember Sonia Delaunay, wrote the French poet on her curtain. Barboulier, 1913, Starbucks, 2015. <laughs> Arriving to London. The customs policeman follows Croatian football. I learn upon entering the country and congratulates me, though I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> a guy with one arm is rolling a tobacco cigarette in the smoking area of Heathrow. I quickly divert my eyes, though I wonder how he'll manage. All around Earl's Court Road and Cromwell Road, joggers, joggers are running, obliged to stop at every traffic light. I miss the vast green fields and forests of home, the ability to run for hours without meeting anyone, without stopping at a crossroad. I stop in the first green field I stumble upon, the Kensington Gardens, and refuse to go out until I can finally face ring roads and avenues, the city, and like it. There was, uh, there was uh, 
one exposition today. It was called Poetry and Dreams. So I remembered something I wrote before, but I just uh, sketched, it, uh, sketched it in English. So you have to suffer my <laughs> writing in English and my reading in English, but it's, it's better like this. We, we, we don't have time to read in Croatian and everything. So like it's uh, Exposition Poetry and Dreams in Tevye. Awakening of Spring. It is a world poetry day. A day when it is better not to meet the poets. I went to park with my Labrador Luna. One yellow butterfly, in the name of the first day of spring, draws the orbit of freedom from earth to the sky. For a moment, it looks like we are all made of sun, though it stays invisible where the poetry of the world comes from. As a butterfly drawing in the air, whose contours you barely recognize, and it's already gone. This one, uh, this uh, poem is for my late sister, it's, and it's called The Memory. When I think of you, you're always smiling. The sun is so strong, so the image is not clear. We are both blinded by light, but I recognize that you are in a field of wheat and spruce, and it's surely summer. I look at you and your smile fills me with such joy. This is the way I love you, standing in the field, in the sun, in a moment that happens over and over again, in a moment that hasn't yet happened. Thank you. Thanks, Maya. Now I recall how I met Maya and her sister. First time it was some years ago. They came with the train for a poetry marathon in Zagreb. <laughs> it was a marathon. It lasted the whole day. <laughs> yeah, it is, we have hundred. these poetry marathons, and they they came with the with the train, and then I, I passed them by uh, also with the train. She was a, a beautiful girl and a great photographer. I will read because we are all in books. We, we deal with books, so it's called the poem that I wrote also today. Something that I wrote before, but uh, for today, the book of books. We are preparing the book of the poets together. The book of books. There are poets who write the one book for all of their lives. It is the book about the end of the world when they are not around here anymore. In it, they are similar to prophets who shake the foundations with their knotted walking sticks, trying to stop the time in motion. Unlike the prophets, poets know that time moves not, and that it is we who travel to it. Unlike the poets, the prophets are predestined to write only one book, and the poets write the book all over again, like the book is brand new. So that's <laughs>